some of these words. Uh, Iron Blood had convened a council at Zer Zernitra Stronghold and entreated their Boloder allies to aid them in their cause. However, talk soon broke down and the Dalmechians were left with no choice but to rely once more on the power of the mighty titan. Barren wastes bereft of ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but unstable. Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. Light has spread even more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceful fauna to violent desperation, leaving silent devastation in its wake. A refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of free bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about to eke out an albeit meager existence. Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of Nisa Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him in Jilwe. That's not anything about Sid. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. all you know about. This okay, is... fair point. Yeah. It's all the information I have on these people. One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. Oots. Bestiary. Lord. Yeah, look at the Gigas. Bro, let's go, Gigas. <laughs> I would have named him... If you had asked me, showed me a picture of him and said, what is his name? I would have said, Chundle. <laughs> his name's Chundle. I guess you can call him Chundle. As they are oft witnessed in the presence of goblins, many believe these lumbering brutes to be goblins themselves, albeit ones that have grown to prodigious size. Scholars, however, deny these claims and insist the two tribes are independent and their relationship a symbiotic one. Uh, with the Gigas providing protection to the sl to the slider goblins, who in turn uh, provide the craftless giants with sundry arms and vestures, such as the carnal fucking something or other created from the bones of their victims. Uh, the spread of the blight has seen both tribes impinge on human territory with increased frequency, and recent spottings have put them. Uh, as close to civilization as three reeds in Rosaria. There's so much stuff! Oh. <laughs> Owls capable of transmitting thoughts of others. Holy shit. <laughs> Specifically those whom they are attuned to. Uh, in response to an ancient incantation, their lithophile field third eyes. Store these thoughts in form of ether, allowing them to pass them on uh, when required. Though only to the intended recipients. They're mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of sending secret and urgent messages, and are seldom available to common folk. The incantation, O Mia lost, oh, whatever, uh, can be loosely translated to, My will is now thy burden. Ne'er cleft our bond shall be. Chocobos! <laughs> Cute little chicken mans! Favorite steeds of the people. Uh, while they are mainly bred for riding, some are used to pull wagons and some are even eaten. That could have been the meat in the stew was chocobo meat. I mean... But the yeah. boldest and the bravest are put forward for the use by the military. They are intelligent and fiercely loyal creatures and tend to tolerate only their master's attention. Wild chocobos are no less vigilant and will readily attack anyone who they perceive to be a threat. Anyone who isn't carrying a fistful of Gestalt greens, that is. Fair. Morbles! The foul cocktail of bile and partially digested prey that accumulates within these giant carnivorous plants' bellies makes their breath so spectacularly rancid that it can be used as a weapon to repel would-be attackers. Morbles 
uh, face. What? <laughs> <laughs> Morbles favor more humid climes, such as those found on the volcanic isles of the Iron Kingdom. However, uh, the spread of the blight has driven the mobile flora to cooler areas, such as the swamps of Rosaria. I'm sorry, am I boring you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, the Warden of Ice, whom Jill Warwick is the current dominant, with her glacial aspect and ability to conjure boreal boulders from the ether, Shiva's appearance on the battlefield makes her enemy's blood run cold. The Bane of Matt, a reading. Shut up! <laughs> no fair using my, like, knowledge against me. Yeah. I guess Mast is like, what I know about... Shiva, and now that I've determined who the dominant is, now what I know about Shiva. Phoenix. Uh, I already read that one. You also already know about your brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The Warden of Fire, last seen at the night of the Imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate in the year 860. When the young Josh, uh, Joshua lost control of his powers, the phoenix first awakened among the moats of fire in an ancient tribe who dwelled in the western reaches of the storm. The careful preservation of that bloodline among the Rosarian nobility ensured that its dominance would always be born in the ducal line. A fire-aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860 when the Imperial forces attacked Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against the phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before or since. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, I see. I was trying to understand those, like, points of interest, lay of the land. Um, oh, it's these. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Twin continents of storm and ash. The westerly of Valisea's two great continents with uh, its frozen northern reaches, its temperate marshy midlands, and the searing heat of the south. It boasts a breadth of climes and cultures not seen anywhere else in the world. Rosalith. The capital city of the Duchy of Rosaria. Yep, that's where I'm from. That's in my house! <laughs> the highest of the noble houses of Rosaria, the dominant of the Phoenix is always born to the Rossfield line, and so it is always a Rossfield who sits upon the throne. The army of, of Rosaria. Okay, that makes sense. Night of Flames. An Imperial attack on the Rosarian forces stationed at Phoenix Gate made under the cover of night in the year 860. Archduke Elwyn Rossfield was killed in the fighting, as were his two sons, <coughs> though the bodies of the latter were never recovered, having thought to have been wholly consumed in the, by the Hellfire. The attack was widely rumored to have been facilitated by the traitorous Duchess Annabella, who, although official... Uh, Explanations attempted to shift the blame onto the Phoenix, having run inexplicably random. Look at Annabella real quick. Wife of Elwyn and mother to Clive and Joshua, she adores her younger son and cheats Clive and Jill with naught but thinly veiled contempt. It was not only her beauty, but her connection to the bloodline that produced many previous dominants of Phoenix that led her to be proposed as the bride for the young Archduke. Indeed, the two are cousins. Having known from a young age that her purpose was to uh, preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, she dotes on Joshua and scorns Clive. It was never her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline. It was ever, sorry. For which reason she betrayed her husband, that she might enter in league with a force she judged the mightier, the Holy the holy Empire of Sambrique, and it was Annabella's treachery that led to the disaster of Phoenix Gate. Fuck that bitch. 
Dragoons! <laughs> God, when I saw this guy, I was like, fuck! <laughs> a lance wielding knight of the Holy Empire, the Dragoons are trained in a unique acrobatic fighting, fighting style modeled after the movements of dragons, which is characterized by sudden thrusts and disorienting leaps and dives. Gregorian scripture holds that the creatures to be the uh, holds the creatures to be divine, a gift from the goddess herself, and so too are their namesakes revered by the populace. Revered and feared. Are you kidding? The assembled foes forces of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, the whole <laughs> <laughs> fucking it's so hard to read English. My only language, and I can't fucking do it. Uh. Whatever. While officially under the command of the Cardinals, the Holy Emperor uh, Le Sage, whom the legions truly serve. Bro, I know, shut up. <laughs> On the battlefield, the Dragoons, peerless lancers renowned throughout the realm, are the Empire's keenest weapons, descending from the skies to sow terror and disarray among their hapless Stop mocking me! The Dalmechian Republic, a nation formed from the Federation of Five Smaller States. Uh, it, I just got closer. That's okay. It is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm and is the capital at Rondella. It is also the home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Fang. There is no official state religion and citizens are free to worship as they please. Dalmechia's key political entity is the Parliament, which is formed of ministers representing each of the states with the Prime Minister at its head. Stronghold situated at the western end of the Nisa Defile in the Dalmechian Republic. It served as the site of the meeting convened by the Dalmechians and their Wallorder Wol allies in an attempt to enlist their aid and drive back the Ironblood, who have been a thorn in their side since the Battle of the Twin, well Twin Realms. Twin Realms. Well, well, the Men of the Fist, Dalmechian Standing Army, while officially an organ of the Republic, giggity, each of these five states is granted relative autonomy with regard to the management of its troops. Aside from certain specialized squads, battle deployments are mostly comprised of small units employing a mixture of foot soldiers and battle mages. The former of which, uh, the former are known and feared for their curved swords and prestigious, prodigious axes and the deadly skill with which they wield them. The Republican Parliament, the highest council of government in the Republic of Dalmechia, seven ministers are, are responsible for ruling the nation, though their will is often molded to that of the permanent economic advisor Hugo Kupka, who leverages his power as the dominant of the Titan to shape the Republic's policy. Uh, looking to bring an end to the long-running conflict with the Iron Kingdom, the Dalmechs convinced a council, convened a council, with their Woloder allies at Zernitra. Uh, however, the Woloders were unwilling to concede to the Dalmechs' request, leaving the Republic no choice but to field its dominant, Hugo. In doing so, uh, Parliament further indebted itself to this already powerful player in national Sole surviving nation in Ash. It has a capital at Stone here, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine, a warlock, warlike land. Its considerable military might serves to keep neighboring countries at bay. While Walode does maintain a notional alliance with the Dalmechian Republic in the southern in Southern Storm, it is very much a marriage of countries. Ultimate command rests with the king, who issues the orders. They prefer heavy clubs and great axes over swords and lighter weapons. I did. I, I was going to mention I really liked their maces. Yeah. Archipelago Nation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I read that one already. Uh, situated off the west coast, its capital is at Krieg Losgate. 
Drake's breath rises from a volcanic island situated within its borders, and it's worshipped as a god, just as the state religion. The crystalline orthodox dictates. This same religion decrees uh, the use of magic to be anathema, and the bearers and dominants who use it to be sinful aberrations, leading to even greater discrimination than that suffered by their brethren on the mainland. One of the five remaining mother crystals. Though its, though its occupation can historically be traced to the duchy, control of the crystal was recently wrested from Rosaria's grasp by the crusade following the, a series of bitter conflicts. Originally home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Eye. In time, however, the Mother Crystal's power dwindled, and with it the power of these warlike nations. With the Blight encroaching on their territory evermore, uh, the remaining tribes were united and pacified by Elwyn Rossfield. Sorry. Their power of the icon Bahamut on their side. That's that's a problem. You don't even have to like show me Bahamut. You just tell me that they have the icon Bahamut on their side. And I'm like, oh shit. Uh, putting an end to the blockade that had lasted several decades. The Waloders, looking to hold back the Sa San Braquois, advanced by any means necessary, formed an alliance with the Dalmecian Republic, who themselves were waging a war against the Iron Kingdom on the Western Front, prevented the Empire from progressing any further. Religion dedicated to the worship of the Mother Crystals. Leader and Chief Shepherd of the Faithful and the Most Powerful of All, whilst while best known as the state religion of the Iron Kingdom, it was once practiced throughout Valisthea. Val Those believers, the Mother Crystals, are literal gods, uh, and the wasteful expenditure of ether through the use of magic is strictly forbidden. I like how it's strictly forbidden, and yet they use it a lot. Persons. Morgul! <laughs> Come on. Aww. Clive's faithful friend, now fully grown after the tragic events at Phoenix Gate, Clive believes that Torgal was lost to him forever. However, their paths were to cross again some 13 years later, when Torgal's new master, Sid, came to Clive, uh, Clive's rescue in the depths of the Nisa Defile. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other uh, as if not a single day had passed in their separation. Oh, yeah. Ambrosia, she did. Clive's personal steed, during the attack of the Phoenix, she raced to his rescue, saving him from certain death at the cost of an eye. Oh! Not dead. Yeah, remember? Oh, that's right, he did. Benedicta. Oh, Ben a bitch. <laughs> uh, commander of Walode's elite intelligencers. Oh, jeez. Well, you don't have to read all of it if you already know it. I often just yeah. click on the way, but I didn't even have to read it. Oh, yeah. Mysterious figure who was first seen amidst the chaos of the Imperial Invasion of Phoenix Gate, immediately before the appearance of the second Icon of Fire. The very Icon that slew the heir to the Ducal Throne, Clive's believes, believes this man to be the Dominant who murdered his brother, and has sworn to take revenge. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, that's what I think. I 
I know who my brother is. I know who Jill is. He would gladly betray his every ally just to be with her. That's not a good sign. She's a healer. Lord Commander of Walode's armies. That guy seems like a chode. Sullen secret of sort who prefers to drown his woes and drink. Hippocrates, this is you! He should have filled that out more. That's my dad. That's my mom. That's the dude who trained me. That's a dude who hung out with me. It's also a dude who hung out with me. It's the guy I beat up. This? Yeah. It looks like Elder Joffrey. He does. Beast, okay. Avis. Then there was the dude who died. Crystals. Crystals are crystals. They let you cast magic. Magic is magic. I like some of these. Crystal rations. Municipal shard, right? Ether, that's magic, essentially. The first shield, that's me! Blessing of the Phoenix, that's, that was a picture of me. And that's a brand. Cannot be worked by modern methods. Probably, wor be wor it was probably worked by magic. Beastmen, okay. Ah, the bard! The burning red star that sits beneath the moon. Folklore ascribes to Matia the role of the message bearer to the moon. It is so, uh, so it is common custom across Valistea to wish upon a star uh, that one's heartfelt desires might be conveyed to the heavens and beyond. So Did you learn everything you needed? Oh, God, I certainly hope so. Okay. <laughs> there is a lot. What's nice is if you keep up with it, it won't be so bad. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? I expect to open it and go, empty. <laughs> You're right. I needed that for my sword. Treasure coffers! If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open. <laughs> Steal their shit. Badge of metal. Uh, gear. Increases defense by 10. <laughs> Next time you're in, first round's on the ass. If you can read, don't let Otto know. Oh no! no. Oh hey, the Iron Blood were quick to sound the retreat once tightened. To 
Background music played in the highway can be changed. Let's go. with this one for now. That one seems better. And when he's not out chasing rumors, sits up there in that hole of his brooding and skin. Give her a wide berth so she doesn't auto-trigger. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Calder's when we're done. I see I'm busy here. I'm not saying for you, dear. It'll last you a good while. Hey. How am I meant to do that then? I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial Capital. Oh. By the look of those bruises. <laughs> Sid, once told me the blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. Jeffrey! <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. Our son. If He's I step away to fetch yeah. any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Like, the not timber. Yeah. He's the timber. <laughs> <laughs> Go lift that stone. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Wow, well, you oh, sound funny. happy. You'll be oh, helping me funny. and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. I want to give this guy wood. Excuse me. Hi. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Better get this to <laughs> Jeffrey, was it? I love you, Torgo. He's 13 too, that's old. You're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now.
Hey, a gill bug. Can be traded for gill. Perfect. Now I can talk to what's her face and sell stuff and buy stuff. And... You another one of Sid's strays? What? We all are. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. We're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world. Chicken. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Oh, there he is. Where's my thing? I'll be thankful you got that much. She's selling a broadsword. Equipped broadsword plus one. Okay, so I don't need that. These are better. I think I'm good for now. That's all. Why you barely a guilty a name? You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. Alright. Alright, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. <laughs> He's giving me money? Arete stone. The Arete is stone is now accessible. This customizable virtual battle space provides Clive a safe location to test out abilities and train against all matter of enemies. Oh. Okay. I have to do this. Okay. Yeah, you have to do it. F1 to open the training menu to adjust both enemy and ally parameters. Oh my lord. Enemies will attack. <laughs> Come on, bro. Why, why, why is that turned off by default? Oh, 
I could have done that way earlier. For real? I didn't have to. You also didn't have to choose. I thought it would be. I thought it would be like you fight one dude and it would kick you out. You all done? Hmm. Leaving already? Ah, yeah. It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Fast travel, okay. I know how to do that. Let me pet you! <laughs> I just want to love you! Alright. Make sure everything else is done. Everything else looks done. Alright. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? Oh. He's not as cool as Red 13. You know, whatever kind of drugs you do in your off time, that's up to you. No, not bad. I'm sorry. I was just trying to remember what Red We should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. And you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, 
We don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Yo, let's go! Pet commands. There better be a pet option. Use 4 to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following are available. Sick, Heal, and Ravage. Alright. I often use potions when I meant to use oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The accessory known as Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this item is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situations. Well, that's kind of cool. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and his shortcut. <laughs> yeah! Pet the dog! You can pet the dog! 10 out of 10 game, you can pet the dog. I can make him bark. Yeet! Maybe they're friendly like Togo. Or maybe they're not. This way, your lordship. Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said there'd be deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. Many won't think to mention this now. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Touch the stick. After you. 
Thank you kindly. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. Yep. I'm gonna bonk it. Two sharp fangs, Torgal, that's you. <laughs> it's silent. I don't like that. <laughs> A wyvern. I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of yours, does he? Dragon Talon. Nice. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Oh. <laughs> I got a blink. What does he do with what? Nope. It looked like he just howled. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't see it. It looked like he howled and my health went up. But he doesn't heal a lot. He heals for like a hundred. Wow. Still, that's like 10% though. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. Good. I'm gonna stop doing that. I'll admit, I hadn't counted on that. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Toggle. Why trust in your own animal instincts when you have an actual animal at your side? If you are lost, hold down N and let Torgle point you in the right direction. What a good Torgle! After it! Good boy. What? Oh, okay. Down. Well, they look not too happy. And for once, it's not my fault. Yeah. 
This is stupid. I like wolves. I don't think they care, Sid. It's over. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he just runs over there. That's cute. Master Precision Dodge. Extends the trigger window. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> I forgot what? Oh yeah. There we go. That's for Cappy. Send your complaints to Cappy at Discord. like those cool little lizard things. They're all armored and stuff. Not so sharp. You better hope so. Hi. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcuts. What? Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. <laughs> I thought exactly. <laughs>
someone's got the up. Where he stops, no one knows. Not this time. I doubt he'll do that again. Not if we kill him first. Gnarled scales. Dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones realm who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Eh? Orgle, where do I go? Tell anybody I actually did lose it there for a second. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant in the fire? Dab what in do the you butt. think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother and cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough as it is.
Thank you, Cappy. Ooh. Ooh. Look at Apple. See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Yeah! <laughs> 